In this video we're looking at an app called PictureChart. For those who've uh, followed some of my posts on social media, you'll know I'm a fan of PictureChart. It's a site that allows you to create infographics, presentations and images from a variety of templates. So you can see I've used it. So it very much mimics the functionality that appears on the website. So if we click on to the three lines at the top there, we can create a new one, we can view saved picture charts, we can view featured picture charts, and we can find out a bit of information about them. So we're gonna dive straight in and create a new picture chart. So first ask, ask us what we're creating. So infographic, presentation, poster or report. Well, you can choose what's appropriate to you. Let's go with poster in this occasion. You can then choose one of the templates. Now, I've paid the subscription for mine, but you can use the free version. The main change is the way you download the file that you create and the number of templates available for you to, to, to adapt. So we're just gonna choose, let's choose a blank one and we'll create it from scratch. So we've chosen the blank one and click on the green button to edit the template. And then we've got a variety of options down the side that so we can click in the box to edit the text. We can then alter the font styles. And what I like about this app is that you don't have to be hugely dexterous to use it. Now each element, each part of the, the poster has a section. So if you've got a poster that you like, it's very easy to just duplicate that section and have it happening again and again and again. So anyway, having added some text, we can go over and choose a background color. We could choose something that's patterned. We can then go to graphics. Icons. And we can search for the type of icon we want. So I don't know. Uh, let's bring up some, so we could do something Easter related. I know I know an Easter, but, and then you can use the, to position the stuff. And just like, you can delete elements. And you can scale elements. Uh, and then we could choose an Easter egg. And again, we can, we can scale that. Having positioned that, we can also use the arrange function to bring forward and send back wherever you want it. So having done all of that, added the text and done whatever else you want, you've got the option to title it. And save that. It'll take just a moment to save it. Now obviously you can be much more creative, you can add a lot more icons, you can add different things on different layers. Um, and then you've got the either option to share it and you can make it so that it's available for everyone to view either public or private. You can share it via a link to social media or for a poster you could just download it. It's gonna want access to your photos and you could download that as, a, as an image to your photos and just save it as an image. So. That is very much picture chart. One more thing to show you before we, we sign out. Is if you do use the web-based version, what you can do is you can add videos into it. So you can see I've added some videos into that. So there you have it, that is picture chart.